Okay, ladies and gents, uh, we are moving away from determinants. We're gonna, not going to forget about it because we're going to use this concept of determinant, but we're moving on to the inverse NIAC matrix. So we're going to be calculating the inverse matrix. Now, there's quite a few ways of calculating it. Um, I would say three and a half ways, okay? Um, we're going to start with a half way. Now, why is it half? Because we this method only works for two by two matrix. So a half, it doesn't, you know, and in fact, I don't even tend to remember how to use this uh, method, but it was in, in, in one of the textbooks, and I thought I'll just share it with you. It's just a quick way of doing it for, for and it only works for two by two. Okay, but next lesson, I'm going to show you the methods that work for all matrices. So let's start with this matrix. One, three, two, five, and two by two. Now, if this is a matrix, the inverse matrix, matrix is A, its inverse is, 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 is written as A to the power of minus one. Okay, it's not really power of minus one, but it's, you'll see why in a second we call it A to the power of minus one. Now, my uh, uh, aim is to find what is this matrix, okay? It's also going to be a two by two, okay? So how is the inverse matrix defined? What, what is the inverse matrix? Well, if I take a matrix like this and I time it by its inverse matrix, okay? Which at this point, I don't know what it is. Well, what I should get is what we call the identity matrix, okay? The identity matrix is made out of ones along the, the main diagonal of the matrix and everything else, every other entry is zero. So that's the identity matrix or the two by two identity matrix, okay? Uh, if I, I'm working with three by three matrices, then the identity of the three by three matrix will be three ones and everything else is zero, okay? So the definition of the inverse matrix is if I've got a certain matrix A, if I multiply it by its inverse matrix, what it needs to get is I, which is just a symbol that we use for the identity matrix. Okay? So that's the definition of the identity matrix. And as I said, my aim in this short lesson is to find, find, give you a method to find uh, uh, what, how to calculate it. Okay? So let's make some space. All right. So before I show you how do I do it, uh, the first thing I need to do is find the determinant. I told you we can't really forget about we're going to need it all the time. So we're going to calculate the determinant of A. Okay, so 1 times 5 is 5, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, the determinant is minus 1. Okay, so that's, that's sorted. Okay, now how would I find the inverse? Well, the inverse I claim is going to be 1 divided by the determinant of A, okay, which I just conveniently calculated, time a matrix where what I'm doing is I'm doing the following. I'm swapping those two numbers on the diagonal, kind of like the transpose, but the transpose everything else swaps apart from the diagonal. Here I'm swapping just these two, okay? So now I'm going to have five here and a one there. And then the other two, okay, those two guys, um, don't swap them. But all I'm doing is I'm multiplying them, oops, I'm multiplying them by minus one. So in this case, because they're both positive, both of them will be negative, okay? Now, here I can write down, instead of the determinant of A, okay, I know what the determinant of A, we've done that, it's minus one, okay? So what is one divided by minus one? It's just minus, okay, minus one. And I multiply it by this business here, okay? And what I've got here is minus 5, 3, 2, and minus 1. Just every entry here divided time by minus 1. I'm just going to pause to see that i got the same answers in the book. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Okay. Now, if what we said is right now, if I multiply these two together, I should get the identity matrix. So let's see if it works, okay? So 1, 3, 2, 5, okay, that's A, time the inverse of A, minus 5, 3, 2, minus 1, okay, that's your A, I'll write in another color, that's your A, and that's your inverse A, okay, I should be getting the identity matrix, let's see if it works, okay, 
how do we multiply matrices? Row time column, okay? So one time minus five, minus five, three times two is six, so six minus five. Okay, we start in a good, good way, so one. And the next one here, that should be zero, right? So let's see, okay, that times that, one times three, times three times minus one, is three minus three, okay, okay, we've got something here. Then next one, that times that, two times minus five is minus 10, five times two, is minus 10. All right, so we've got zero. We're almost there. Let's try. Let's try. Come on. Two times that times that. So two times three is six. Six times five minus one is minus five. And we get one. Phew! A sigh of relief. Okay? We've got the identity matrix. Okay? So A times A minus one equals the identity matrix. Okay? I'm just going to pause quickly here and give you like a formula. Right, so like I said, it's a very short lesson, and, and yeah, it's not going to be a, a lot to do, but the next lesson will be quite long. Um, so I'm giving you like a, a general formula that might be useful. If you get a two by two matrix, okay, and these are the entries, A, B, C, D, any numbers that you want. To get the inverse matrix, first thing you need to do is calculate the determinant of A. So you find the determinant and you do one divided by that times the following matrix. So we're going to swap these two guys. So that's going to be B and now and that's going to be A. The B and the C remain in the same place, but we stick a minus in front of them. So if you do that, okay, that times that will be equal to one. Now as a little exercise, I'm not going to give you uh, exercise in the book. There's no exercise in the books here. But what you can do is take that, you know, do A, B, C, D. It's a nice little fun thing, actually. And you time it by the determinant of A. So find the determinant of this thing. And time it by D, uh, D minus B minus C, A. So you don't know what these letters are, but you just, you do that. What you should find is that you're going to get 1, 1, 0, 0. That's a nice little exercise in multiplication of, of matrices. And then if you really, really want to do something else, okay, here what we've done is A times A minus 1 gives the inverse matrix. You can do it the other way around. You can start, this is, this is your A, and this is your A minus 1. And when you multiply and you get the identity, why don't you try the other way around, okay? Try and put the inverse matrix first, time it by A there. What you'll find out, you'll still get the inverse matrix. And that's not... What's the word? It's not, um, it's not obvious because I think we've done it last year when I remind you a bit about matrices, okay? Matrices are not commutative in, in multiplication, okay? You know, numbers, scalars are 2 times 3 equals 3 times 2. But with matrices, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Sometimes they're equal, but most of the time they're not, okay? If you are working with your inverse matrix, it does work. It doesn't matter which, which comes first. Right, see you in the next lesson.